This whole idea that I dislike white people is quite funny. It's one of the funniest things I've ever heard. I'm not going to say why, but it is quite funny. Now, just to stress that point, Maltese persons, in terms of their ethnicity, their heritage, are a fairer and whiter race than the British, for instance. So this white Australia, this white sentiment, didn't come from white people. It came from a British brand of being British. It's got nothing to do with white persons, the Europeans, or anything like that. It's a complete heresy. It's just got to do with London, British overlording. The empire, when it dwindled, it needing to keep up with the times. Mark my words, if the empire didn't dwindle, we would still see that side of white Australia, which is just British, nothing else. Let me put it to you this way. Even Romanians are more Caucasian or white than the English people, or the British people. Now, don't get me wrong, but English people are very fair, so are Scottish, Irish. <clears throat> but British sentiment, British royalty, British... Rule has got nothing to do with the people of England, Ireland, and Scotland. They're just ruled by a monarch historically, and in some ways now too, just under the radar. Just in a, a different day and under a different guise, just under London politicking, yeah, with the monarchy and all their men pulling the strings in the background. Nothing really has changed. You, you'd be an idiot to start going, but it's ceremonial! Fuck off. They're just clever with the way they run things, that's all. Um, but, you know, for instance, with the Maltese, Maltese Australians, our, our heritage, the country that was ruled for hundreds of years, I mean, the, the cross, Ave Cruz, Ave Cruz, Alba. I don't pronounce it Alba Crux, I say, say Alba Cruz, Alba. Hail, White Cross. Hail, White Cross. That was the national anthem for the Maltese for hundreds of years. Hail, hail, holy white cross. That meant a lot of things. Interestingly, they used to burn the cross because of their flaming desire for the holy white cross. Now, I'm not going to say that's linked to other movements because that's pretty silly. But my point is, whiteness in the Maltese race is more prevalent than the British. So... When I speak of white Australia, or white people, they're a different people altogether to just white persons, like myself. Are you getting me? It's got nothing to do with being against white persons, much less against fucking the beautiful English, Irish or Scottish people. It's just fucking utterly ridiculous. It's, I'd hate myself, I'd hate my sister. I'd fucking, what the f... Anyway. Um, you know, so this white brand of being British... It's just another British disguise. And it's not so prevalent anymore. Obviously, they've kept up with the times. They're, they're multicultural, apparently. They're, they're very worldly. Yeah, fuck off. So they're doing everything they fucking can at the moment, that mob, to ensure that the Indigenous Australians don't have a voice. Absolutely everything in their power. White Australia... It, we're, we're now... It's interesting because white Australia, hidden for so long, is now being forced outward from their hiding. Because they've been hiding. For 70 years, white Australia has hidden and scared shitless because of the repercussions that will happen, especially in the international community, if it's discovered that, look how many whites there are. You know, that type of whiteness, not you know, this type of whiteness. Look, look how many of these cunts there are. See, what I'm saying is... That British brand of whiteness is a hijacking of what it means to just be a white person, a white European. It's got nothing to do with being white, a white, a white person or a white European. The British way of being, you know, the historical way of going to other countries and enslaving people and you know, going to war with them and trying to make them your slaves and putting them in chains. That's purely British. I'm not going to say that you know, slaves were taken by other empires and other peoples, but in very different means, very different circumstances. Look, the British version of a white Australia 
which is exactly what white Australia was, nothing less. It had nothing to do with being Australian or Australia. The British version of white Australia is a hijacking of white persons. They're not white people. So when I see a Caucasian person in public acting white, you're not a white person. You're a white Australian, and you're not even Australian at that. You're a fucking piece of shit. And you, at most, you're a British you know, machination of being white or some type of you know, rare being, even though all your ancestors were bumjacked by Romans, and you've got Roman blood, possibly more than anyone on the globe. There is no such thing as a pure Anglo or Saxon race. So this British idea of trying to create that was even offensive to the English, who know they're not a pure race, who know they come from Romans, who know they come from here and there. You bunch of fucking idiots. Rome marched in there and fucking took England, the entire England, for four or five hundred years. You don't think they mixed with the entire fucking place? You fucking spits. It's only been fucking 200 years here, and nearly all of Australia was mixed already. What the fuck do you think the Romans would have done? With, with their law, only their law. Fucking idiots. So, when I see this British version of white persons, it's fucking hilarious. I'm not looking at a Caucasian person. I'm not looking at some kind of genuine Australian. I'm looking at a fucking idiot. Especially one who doesn't even realise they were probably kidnapped from Malta or their ancestors were and they were stamped with English surnames. So, Eng more than anyone in the world, English people, Anglo Saxons, have been taken for a wild ride by this British machination. More than anyone they've been betrayed. More than anyone on earth. Betrayed by their own gov betrayed by their own rulers, betrayed by their own uh, system. You know, the fucking actual English people are the best people in the world. The Maltese get along with them more than anybody. You know, we're talking about the real English people. We're not talking about the fucking British administrators, the fucking wankers. And and it's a commonality between all of us, between the English, Australians, Maltese, because it's not just British domination in England, it was attempted in Malta, it's still clearly in the background here, and it's it's going to be pissed on, as it was when they were kicked out of Malta. So, you know, if you're, a, if you're under the illusion that you're some special white person, that you've got a white privilege, which is what I'm alluding to, you are a fucking idiot. You are possibly the world's greatest idiot.